community and GNOME Shell and I know that there's quite a lot of people out there who, who don't really like Unity or GNOME Shell and quite a few of them have been using Ubuntu and they they like Ubuntu because it's how it is as a GNOME 2 desktop with its um well it's patches for some of them sure most of them don't really mind the patches that the Ubuntu specific stuff but they don't like Unity a lot of people and they don't really like GNOME Shell so or well, some do like GNOME Shell more it depends but anyway I know a lot of people don't really like Unity so what I think is going to happen is that Ubuntu and they sometimes don't like other changes like the a software center offering proprietary software for sale and that kind of thing. Well, you don't have to buy it, so. No, you don't have to buy it, but yeah. they don't, some people don't like how that's offered, but I think a lot of people are gonna look, but I think Ubuntu 11.10 is gonna come out, and a, a lot of people are gonna start looking at other distributions more. Or, or some, I mean, some people are gonna go off to, like, Kubuntu, or El Ubuntu, or X Ubuntu, because, you know, it's just a different, it's Ubuntu, but it's with a different desktop environment. Others are going to look at distributions that are based on Ubuntu, such as Linux Mint, obviously. That's going to probably get very popular, actually, Linux Mint, or more popular, because it's apparently it's already more popular than Ubuntu on DistroWatch, or, or nearly, or something. Linux Mint, that is. Yeah. Um, and I think that's going to get a lot more popular, because of Unity and so on. And no GNOME 2 at all offered in Ubuntu 11.10. So I think that's going to get more popular, and I think other distributions like um, Magia and PC Linux OS and Mandriva and, and Fedora, obviously, they're, they're going to get more popular. I think Fedora will probably get quite a bit more popular, possibly. Yeah, probably. Yeah. And Debian. Yeah, competition among the. Uh, and, and I think Debian will get. Uh, I think quite a lot of the old, more experienced users with Ubuntu, they will probably go off to Debian because, yeah, you know. Well, well, some of the distros will be based on it if they want to dodge the, uh, cause they don't forget the value of the GNOME, uh, desktop out of Ubuntu. Uh, if they're gonna base it off Ubuntu, they might get something out of it. But one of the reasons they used to like Ubuntu is that they, the company Canonical would, would kind of brush things off and polish things to the extent that the GNOME desktop that they offered was quite clean and quite a nice experience. And they yeah. did all these, uh, you know, uh, notification bars and like the structure and the, the themes and everything else. It was well tested. Now, yeah, yeah. Can I, if Canonical is moving to Unity, they have no reason to maintain a very good GNOME desktop, even if you choose to go for the PPA for. No, no, they, no. Yeah. They just, it seemed... So they have no appeal now. They have no reason really to go in after the Ubuntu base, and they start to explore. Um, the well, you, you may know that Mapis, for example, moved from. Uh, Debian to Ubuntu base and then back to Debian. That was well, well, well before uh, Unity, so around like 2009 or 2008. Uh, yeah, it and seems then, to uh, me that. Then Mint seems to be exploring to see, well, what if you did move to a base of Debian? Would yeah, be yeah, 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 yeah. Mint is. Mm. And, 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 and so far, it seems like maybe it's that still work to be done, making it work as well if they based on Debian, but. But at least then they get the class, whatever you know, whatever Debian comes with by default for a GNOME desktop, which is probably going to be GNOME Shell and uh, GNOME 3. Point something. Mint is, um, yeah, Mint Mint 12 is going to be interesting, I think, because as users, no one really knows what's going to go on. Developers probably have some sort of idea, but it's not, it's not being announced, and it might be a, it might just stay with GNOME. It might do like. Um, it might stay with GNOME 2, and it might try GNOME 2 itself, and then take other stuff from Ubuntu. It might do GNOME 3 with the fallback mode, but then customize people like Mint. It might it might go and change to XFC. It, yeah, Ubuntu Studio. That's the point. Ubuntu Studio for 11.10. They 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 used to use GNOME 2, but what they've actually decided to do is they've actually decided to go to for XFCE instead because it's yeah, whether what's happening. Uh, so Bateman is going to be an interesting one, see what happens there. And, um, it's going to see what, if some of you, a lot of these Ubuntu dis based distros die out as well, saying that, because a lot of them are just really Ubuntu with like a different wallpaper. <laughs> and that's about it, you know? Um, maybe yeah. some applications of difference, depending on the developer's preferences. And, uh, and, uh, 
and then they have to deem themselves like we are the studio this and then you get and then you sometimes you get these. like they close studio and like changing the colors and everything and the wallpapers and the application and then, some, yeah. and then you sometimes get these joke distributions like that Hannah Montana OS which is in SourceForge I was like telling this guy who uh, like got me into some open source more uh, to begin like to begin with about that like last night and he thought it was, he thought it was funny I think when he said about that but yeah remember Hannah Montana OS that was based on Kubuntu and they made it as a bit of a joke disk I think yeah. and uh, anyway so we'll just be interested to see what happens will it, will Unity take off will it will it gain loads of new users to desktop benefits? Well, might, might as well. But it doesn't have to be desktop, remember. Unity is not just for the desktop anyway. Well, I don't yeah. think it was not originally developed for it. Netflix and all that, sure. But yeah. we'll, uh, um, we'll find out soon. So, anyway, closing the, the show, yeah, uh, I, 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 say, I uh, recommend people do. Uh, use man, there's something yeah. I was going to say. What was sure, it? yeah, go ahead. I'm just thinking. Uh, so, ah, uh, yes. So, that right, yeah, closing the show. So, yeah, get into Gnome Shell. I mean, really, they're both trying to. I suppose, really, they're both trying to innovate desktop Linux. I mean, it's been very similar for a long time now. Gnome KDE, it's all XCC, LC, nothing that, nothing really that. Ex- I mean, it, yeah, we have good desktop, we have good free desktops, but they're not really, really that exciting. Not really, really innovated. It's like if you look at Windows, and if you look at these. I mean, XP it's okay. If you look at Vista, it's sort of okay. Branding's nice. Windows 7 is okay. Windows 8 is okay. Mac OS X. We need. I think we do need to have some more, some more proper desktop um, innovation, the desktop environments and the well, stuff it's like that. If it's gonna, if the desktop Linux is gonna go or go a bit more mainstream, I think we do. It's good that. No, you know, I, I, I don't think that's a reason we don't. I don't think. I think that's a pattern of. I think the the oversimplification of the interface is that's just something that Windows is sort of behind it. Uh, I don't think that KDE is more complicated than many of the uh, of the uh, Windows versions, at least the recent Windows version. Like well, no, probably probably not quite. Oh, well, it may be in some ways, in some ways. But I think to suggest that the reason Linux isn't uh, gaining a lot of market share is just because it's hard to use and stuff. That's just the fur. That's just the way of injecting. Yeah, there's so the well, reason is more complicated it's to do. With yeah, the I know. It's just rigid stuff. So yeah, it's it's not just the. Uh, it's, no, it's, it's not just the internet. And just because it gets easier, it doesn't mean all of a sudden you know it's going to like succeed. It's it's uh, many people will attest to the fact that uh, um, loads of the times and most times, in fact, the successful or the winning product is not doing this in based, based on the technical merits but based on marketing perception momentum inertia uh, so, so with the, this case don't don't try and blame or to credit the success of Linux or something to do it's, it's more than that it's also, yeah yeah I know it's the, it's the, it's the technical issue the, the lack of manufacturer support the dry, uh, like wireless and sound like no, no, I mean, even, not even these things. No, it, well, there is this aspect as well as, you know, how hardware works. And some people do try to say, oh, well, Linux is not, doesn't have these things working well. This is why it's not succeeding. But no, it's, it's a bit more than that. It's even the fact that it cannot really get itself to be uh, sold by yeah. companies that be, get paid kickbacks to carry on paying just a monopolist operating system and not, not really give people the chance to choose what they might be interested in and might be more suitable for their needs. Yeah, exactly. They, they, yeah, OEM deals, uh, that's important as well if you're going to get oh, more. But that, that's probably a topic for another, I think this is like the longest show. And I, I know, just want to quickly say something, earlier. Um, and that's what Conical have been doing, they've got Dell, well they didn't really do it properly, and they've got Asus or whatever, or Asus or whatever it is. And, and, I, and yeah, OEM deals, but mm. yeah. so there's, all, there's various reasons why it hasn't really hit off. Loads of reasons, but it it will probably it might it may win in the end or things yeah, may just of, go because go of more. Magia. Magia 2.0 is gonna change <laughs> everything. No, not well, yeah. not just well different distributions and and on the of hardware support. If you have one problem, if you have hardware that doesn't work in one, what can happen is it works in another. So. So you have to try out different distributions. Yeah. And um Yeah, uh, so anyway. Yeah, I'll close uh yeah. What I was gonna say, yeah. 
Well, so anyway, uh, thanks for listening to the show. I don't really know how many people still listen to it by the time we reach the end because it's really, really long and it's yeah, way yeah, I'm, I'm a bit, uh, length and, uh, Yeah, so I'm, in any case, I uh, will end up with a song and try to kind of, you know, spice things up a bit. Uh, so the song is I Am and it's by, uh, by the uh, Jones Family uh, Singers. It hasn't been a long episode for quite a while anyway. Yeah. So anyway, we'll listen to the song and uh, end this uh, episode.